Welcome to another edition of Adam Reads You. Today we are going to be reading the book of Habakkuk. Uh, also in the Bible. What is called the Bible, the collection of 66 uh, different books that uh, we're going to be reading from right now. Uh, again, when you see the Lord, the word, the title, Lord in all capitals, if you flip to the preface of your scriptures, you'd see that uh, whenever, any time the translators put in the word Lord in all capitals, they were referring to the Tetragrammaton, <clears throat> the four-letter consonant Hebrew yod Hey wow or vav Hey yod Hey vav Hey. Uh, when you put in the vowels, you can come up with Yahuwah, Yahweh. People get hallelujah from that, from uh, the word Yah, or the name Yah. I guess the translation is supposed to mean I am, I always will be in Hebrew, Yahuwah, Yahweh. Yah being a personal name. So, you know, if my name was Adam, and I happen to be the creator of this uh um, or saying I was the creator of, you know, everything as this guy is, I would be like, the burden which the prophet Habakkuk saw, Adam, oh Adam, how long shall I cry and you will not hear? And, uh, this guy, Adam, has gone out of his way to reveal his name. Hey, my name's Adam. Over and over again. They shall know that his name is Adam. Uh, and then what translators do have done, uh, for different reasons, one being uh, for at one point the Israeli and Jewish people, Israeli Jewish people wouldn't mention the name uh, at all, so, and then later the word, uh, the vowels for from Adonai were sort of inserted and then crudely became Jehovah later, it's a long story, but the short of it is, if this creator uh, God, if he called himself Adam, is going around trying to reveal his name to people and make sure that people know his name, it's sort of doing that guy a disservice uh, to replace it with a title like The Boss, you know, or people called me The Boss or The Manager. I'm not Bruce Springsteen. So if I was going out of my way to let you know my name, hey, call me Adam. And you kept saying, saying, okay, boss. And I'd be like, no, seriously, call me Adam. Anyway, that's a whole other side topic. But when I read the word the Lord in my head, I, I see and I hear uh, Yahuwah. I see the Tetragrammaton and I see the original intention. I've looked at these scriptures in uh, Hebrew and Aramaic. So I have a sort of a little bit of an idea on what we're talking about here. So anyway... The burden which the prophet Habakkuk saw. Oh, Yahuwah, how long shall I cry and you will not hear? Even cry out to you violence and you will not save. Why do you show me iniquity and cause me to see trouble? For plundering and violence are before me. There is strife and contention arises. Therefore the law is powerless and justice never goes forth. For the wicked surround the righteous and perverse judgment proceeds Look among the nations and watch. Be utterly astounded, for I will work a work in your days which you will not believe, though it were told to you. For indeed I am raising up the Chaldeans, a bitter and hasty nation which marches through the breadth of the earth to, pose dwelling, to possess dwelling places that are not theirs. They are terrible and dreadful. Their judgment and their dignity proceed from themselves. Their horses are also swifter than leopards and more fierce than evening wolves their chargers charge ahead their cavalry their cavalry cavalry comes from afar they fly as the eagle uh, that has hastens to eat they come for they they all come for violence their faces are set up like the east wind they gather captives like sand they scoff at kings and princes are scorned by them. They deride every stronghold, for they heap up earthen mounds and seize it. 
Then his mind changes and he transgresses. He commits offense, ascribing his power to his God. Are you not from everlasting, O Yahuwah, my Elohim, or God? That's a whole other story, the word of God, but anyway. My Holy One, we shall not die, O Yahuwah. You have appointed them for judgment, O Rock. You have marked them for correction. You are of pure eyes than to behold evil and cannot look on wickedness. Why do you look on those who deal treacherously and hold your tongue when the wicked devours a person more righteous than he? Why do you make men like a uh, fish of the sea, like... Excuse me for a second. Uh, why do you why do you make men like fish of the sea? Why do you make men like fish of the sea like creeping things that have no ruler over them? They take up all of them with a hook. They catch them in their net and gather them in their dragnet. Therefore, they rejoice and are glad. Therefore, they sacrifice to their net and burn incense to their dragnet because by them their share is sumptuous and their food plentiful. Shall they therefore empty their net and continue to slay nations without pity? I will stand my watch and set myself on the rampart and watch to see what he will say to me and what I will answer when I am corrected. Then Yahuwah answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain on tablets that he may run who reads it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it will speak and it will not lie. Though it tarries, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Behold, the proud... His soul is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. Indeed, because he transgresses by wine, he is a proud man. He does not stay at home because he enlarges his desires as hell. And he is like death. He cannot be satisfied. He gathers himself all nations and heaps up for himself all peoples. Will not all of these take up a proverb against him and a taunting riddle against him and say, Woe to him! who increases what is not his, how long? And to him who loads himself with many pledges, will not your creditors rise up suddenly? Will they not awaken who oppress you? And you will become their booty, because you have plundered many nations, and all the remnant of the people shall plunder you, because men's blood and the violence of land of the city, the violence of the land and the city, and of all those who dwell in it. Woe to him who covets evil gain for his house, that he may set his nest on high, that he may be delivered from the power of disaster. You give shameful counsel to your house, cutting off many peoples, and sin against your soul. For the stone will cry out from the walls, and the beam from the timbers will answer it. Woe to him who builds a town with bloodshed, who establishes a, establishes a city by iniquity. Behold, it is not of Yahuwah of hosts that the people labor to feed the fire, and nations weary themselves in vain, for the earth will be filled with the knowledge of the glory of Yahuwah as the waters cover the sea. Woe to him who gives drink to his neighbor, pressing him to your bottle, even to make him drunk, that you may look on his nakedness. You are filled with shame, and instead of glory, you also drink, and be exposed as uncircumcised. The cup of Yahuwah's right hand will be turned against you, and utter shame will be on your glory. For violence done to Lebanon will cover you, and the plunder of beasts. Oh, something of beasts? Yeah, the plunder of beasts which made them afraid because of men's blood and the violence of the land and of the city and all of those who dwell in it. What profit is the image that its maker should carve it? The molded image, a teacher of lies, that the maker of its mold should trust in it to make mute idols. Woe to him who says to wood, Awake! To silent stone, arise, it shall teach. Behold, it is overlaid with gold and silver, yet in it there is no breath at all. But Yahuwah is in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silence before him. A prayer of Habakkuk, the prophet of Shigianoth. O Yahuwah, I have heard your speech, and I was afraid. O Yahuwah, remember your works in the midst of the years. In the midst of the years, make it known in the wrath of mercy. God came from Taman, the Holy One, from Mount Paran. Salah, his glory covered like the heavens, covered the heavens, and the earth was full of his praise. His brightness was like the light. He had rays flashing from his hand, and their power was hidden. His power was hidden. 
Before him went pestilence and fever followed at his feet. He stood and measured the earth. He looked and startled the nations and the everlasting mountains were scattered. The perpetual hills, his ways are everlasting. I saw the tents of Kushan in affliction and the curtains of the land of Midian trembled. O oh, Yahuwah, were you displeased with the rivers? Was your anger against the rivers? Was your wrath against the sea that you rode on your horses, your chariots of salvation? Your bow was made your bow was made quite ready. Oaths were sworn over your arrows. Salah, you divided the earth with rivers. The mountains saw you and trembled. The overflowing of the waters passed by. The deep uttered its voice and lifted its hands on high. The sun and moon stood still in their habitations. At the light of your arrows they went. At the shining of your of your glittering spear. You marched through the land in indignation. You trampled the nation in anger. You went forth for the salvation of your people, for the salvation with your anointed, for salvation with your anointed. You struck the head from the house of the wicked by laying bare from foundation to neck. Salah. You thrust through with his own arrows the head of his vigil villages. They came out like a whirlwind to scatter me. Their rejoicing was like feasting on the poor in secret. You walked through the sea with your horses, through the heap of the great waters. When I heard, my body trembled, my lips quivered at the voice. Rottenness entered my bones, and I trembled in myself that I might rest in the day of trouble. When he comes up to the people, he will invade them with his troops. Though the fig tree may not blossom nor fruit be on the vine, though the labor of the olive may fall and the fields yield no food, Though the flock may be cut off from the fold, and there be no herd in the stalls, yet I will rejoice in Yahuwah. I will joy in the God of my salvation. Yahuwah Elohim is my strength, and he will make my feet like the deer's feet, and he will make me walk on high hills, on my high hills, to the chief musician with, strice, with my stringed instruments. Don't play them with somebody else's stringed instruments. Make sure... As Habakkuk said, to play them with my stringed instruments. He must have made a... Maybe he, maybe he invented the, the sitar. Who knows? Thus concludes my reading of the book of Habakkuk. And that brings me to Zephaniah. Which maybe I will read on my own. And then one, two, skip a few, a few pages left and we'll be in the gospel according to Matthew. Take care, everybody.